I'm Little League Cheerleader, which uh, for me was pretty awesome because I was a nerdy kid who loved video games and uh, just like desperately wanted to be friends with the cool kids, but um, who instead was writing Zelda, Legend of Zelda fan fiction in my bedroom. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I was at a practice, well, it was a scrimmage is what they call it, I think, but I uh, was in this Little League cheerleading group with my um, neighbor who is like my childhood best friend but also like my arch nemesis. Her name was Nikki and if you're a woman you know this kind of girl. She's like, I guess they're calling it front of me now, that's the word for it. But anyhow, so I was 11, she was 13 and she was super cool but I also hated her. And we were at this scrimmage and uh, I didn't hate her, she was my friend but anyhow. She was like, hey, we're going to take a little walk, and we're walking through this uh, plot of trees, and she like thrusts her arms out to the younger girls and says, girls, don't go any further. That is definitely poison ivy. And I was thinking, you know, I like to think I'm pretty smart, so I'm going to flex my muscle here a little bit and say, you know, I don't think that is poison ivy. And we had this back and forth exchange and she, uh, you know, was trying really hard to talk me out of what I was about to do, um, which was to grab a handful of this stuff and say, you know what, if it was poison ivy, would I really just do this? And I rubbed it just all over us. Oh yeah, yeah, I was like feeling so good about myself. Like I have won, I have beaten uh, this, this situation. Um, in the best way that I know how, which is um, by basically being an asshole. So three days later, I'm laid up in bed, and uh, I can barely open my eyes, and uh, I'm feeling pretty not awesome, and I see this dark, shadowy figure enter my room, and it's Nicole, and I immediately, the first words out of my mouth were, you know what, I went to the doctor, it's not poison ivy. <laughs> She was like, oh yeah? Well, so what's up? <laughs> Why are you covered in those blisters? It was poison oak. So, needless to say, I'll not make that mistake again. But it got me to thinking about uh, how many times we say and do things um, that just like accidentally go bad. Just. It shouldn't have been like that. I should have won, <laughs> but I didn't. So anyway, this song is called Bad News, and um, it's sort of my, my own personal anthem, but um, I hope that <laughs> it resonates with you somehow. Um, everybody has bad days, but me more than others.
devil hates nothing more than a smile.